Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with another awesome video for you guys. We're gonna revisit the question that I get all of the time. What is the best golf simulator projector? Now, if you guys remember, I did a video a while ago, and that was on BenQ's new LK953ST projector. Well, that's a 4K 16 by nine format projector. All right, now, if you remember, I brought up to people that there are a lot of important things to consider when looking for a golf simulator projector. You need to consider your brightness, and you need to consider your format, and things along those lines, okay? And also that, that throw ratio of where it's going to be mounted, all right? Um, as always, I'm gonna put my email in the description and pinned to the top of the comments. Make sure you shoot me an email if you have a question, and the product we're talking about about today, the LU935ST. Now this is a 16 by 10 projector, all right? Now my partners already have these on order to come in and we'll be giving you guys exclusive pricing. But what is what makes the LU935ST the best golf simulator projector for some users? Well, it's because that 16 by 10 format, that's called WUXGA. It's 1920, okay, which is the normal width of 1080p, but instead of the 1080p tall, it's actually 1200 tall. Now, I have some cheat notes here. Uh, that's actually 2.3 million pixels, all right, which is a very high resolution. And that 16 by 10 format is not only already popular in the golf simulator world, but becoming very popular because of, you know, the rooms that people are designing. They want a very tall image and they might not always have that width. Because understand, if you're looking at a 16 by nine format, in order to get to maybe an eight or nine foot tall screen, you're going to need a very wide room, okay? So my screen, what a lot of people don't know, is it's actually a 16 by 10 screen. So it's eight feet tall. So when you see me using the LK953ST, and I'm doing that in 4K, well, I'm actually only about seven feet tall on my screen. So I have black bars up on the top and on the bottom. All right, and that projector won't produce that native resolution of 16 by 10, okay, uh, in, a, in a, I guess I should say a WXGA uh, resolution, which is 1920 by 1200, okay? Um, so that's why we're introducing the BenQ LU 935ST. Now let's talk about this. So I'll start unboxing right now. We're gonna do a full unboxing and a full review as we always do with these. Um, and let's talk about some specs and things that you need to know about this LU935ST from BenQ. So the first thing is that it actually is a brighter projector than the 953ST that I've shown you guys previously. So this is actually 5,500 lumens. So that would be 10% brighter than the 953. All right, so brightness is very important. Some people have a lot of ambient light, whatever's going on. You know, you have to understand a projector can't produce a black. So those lumens are what's going to give you that, that high contrast ratio and be able to overcome bright environments or lights, whatever you may have going on. Okay, so understand that. So 5,500 lumens, all right? But what's very important about this is, is that they actually have really taken on a color challenge. And what I mean by that is, is that they understood that people are playing these immersive games, all right, uh, simulation software, golf simulation software, and basically they've now tailored a new picture mode specifically for golf simulators, okay? They call it golf mode, all right? It basically is to provide an immersive experience and avoid any, you know, iffy color performances that you can see out of a lot of projectors. Now, it's cinema grade, all right? 92% REC709 color gamut coverage, all right? And then it's also, of course, DLP technology, so you're never gonna get any yellowing, all right? It's going to last all the way through the bulb life, and of course, we all know this is a laser projector, so the bulb life is just incredible. All right, um, I want to say this one's rated over 20,000 uh, hours. Um, I don't have that specifically available, but just understand that I, uh, I believe it's over 20,000 hours, which is significantly longer than a normal bulb life would be. All right, I'm just going to set this stuff aside here, and that way you guys can see this. Now, also, what there is to notice 
is that this projector actually is a smaller format. So it's actually lighter and a little smaller than the 953 ST, okay? A lot of people want a smaller format, easier to handle, all right? So understand that. Um, as far as inputs go, we can talk about those really quick. Um, we have an HDMI 1, and that's the newer 2.2, all right? And then HDMI 2, which is also a 2.2. You have a Type-A USB, HD Base T, you have remote capability, 3D VESA in, a PC capability, monitor out, LAN input, all right, audio in, audio out, a 3D VESA out, a 12 volt trigger, and then an RS-232. All right, so let's talk about a few of the other specs that are going to be very important for you guys. So, easier installation. Now, understand that, you know, the LK953ST, um, it, it has easy installation as well. But in a 16 by 10 format now, they actually have the short throw lens set at 0.81 through 0.89, which means that you can basically be 10 feet away, okay, and still get a 12 foot wide screen. All right, that's fantastic. I mean, that's exactly what I have going on here. And that just means that the projector is right above me. It's out of the way. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and then as I've showed you before, and we'll show you with this projector as well, once we get it installed, I love not having a shadow. Okay, that's so important. All right, so understand that. All right, now this has 2D lens shift. Uh, vertically, it can do a plus minus of 60%, and then a horizontal lens shift of plus minus 23%. So very capable of being able to shift that image around where you don't have to be perfectly center. And I'll show you how I'm going to install this. So we'll uh, do exactly what we did before with the, the LK953. And when we install the LU935ST, I'll do a picture and show you guys kind of how I put it up there. So it has geometric adjustment, all right? 2D keystone, corner fitting, and then also digital shrink and shift. And then, as I mentioned before, laser light source, but also with dust proof filter free. All right, I think that's very, very important. Now here is one thing that everybody's probably gonna be excited to hear. Comes in at a lower price point. All right, so the LU935ST is going to be a lower price, and I've already worked out discounted pricing through my partners. As I mentioned before, email is gonna be in the description and pinned to the top of the comments. Shoot me over an email, and I'll get you guys a custom uh, quote. Maybe you wanna compare. Maybe you wanna look at the LU935ST in your environment to see if it fits, but maybe you end up saying, well, hey, the LK953 kind of fits my needs more. You know, that's, that's the, the right immersive feeling that I'm looking for. Now, understand something. Here's another really cool thing about the LU9935ST. So this can actually still produce a 16 by nine image if that's what you're looking to do. So let's say that you want to run your golf simulator in a 16 by 10 format, all right? And then you wanna throw some movies up on the screen and put them in that normal widescreen format. You can do that. It can handle that source of 16 by nine. It can actually even handle a source of four by three if that's something you're looking to do. All right, now that may be uh, you're running an iPad, for instance. Almost every iPad out there right now is a four x three format. Well, it can handle that input and it's gonna display it. And maybe we'll do uh, a demonstration of that here in the near future as well. So that is kind of all of the normal notes that I have. We just have some kind of standard, uh, you know, HDMI and power cables that are included. And other than that, we're ready to get this thing installed and show you guys what it's all about. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, welcome back inside the GSV studio. We have the BenQ LU935ST mounted in the studio and there it is. All right, now this is just a sneak peek. We're actually gonna take the camera, move it close like we did last time and I'll kind of give you guys that nice close up image of the screen to, uh, you know, to kind of give you an idea of what it really looks like as far as image quality and everything goes. I have to say, I'm very impressed. I've been using a 4K 5000 lumen projector, right? That BenQ 953ST. Well, the, the image looks really, really good and crisp on here. And I think what's probably, you know, kind of counting on some of that is that 10% increase in brightness. I mean, the image is very, very bright. I have a good amount of light that shines in the center of my studio and it's just giving great contrast and very sharp image, all right? So there are a few things I wanted to talk about. So first off, I, I guess I'll show you the installation picture. Let me step off to the side really quick. We'll throw up the installation picture and show you guys from the dead center of the room, 
you can see how I have the projector mounted off to the side. Same exact position I had the LK953 ST, the 4K model, installed. Now we have the LU935 ST, same position, but you'll notice the image is much taller. Right? We'll go ahead and throw that installation picture down. So before, when I was running 16 by 9, all right, and my 16 by 10 screen, I had a very large black bar on the top and actually a little black bar on the bottom. Now I've taken this and I've used all of the new technology that they have. Okay, I have that horizontal and vertical uh, lens shift I was able to use and that was because I was off-centered and obviously mounted up on the ceiling. And then I used the keystone correction and also corner bending that they have to make it very, very perfectly centered, uh, to my liking that is. It's not gonna be obviously individual to your situation. Um, but I love how tall the image is now. So this is gonna be personal preference. I want everybody to understand that. Uh, we'll go right back to the question. What is the best projector for a golf simulator? All right, everybody wants to know. I mean, I get that email all the time. Well, some of it is gonna be personal preference. All right, so do you want a 4K image with just some, you know, some more crisp to the image? Uh, or do you want a taller, more immersive screen and you only have so much width to work with? Now, with my 12 and a half foot wide screen, I have an image that's almost all the way to the very top of my bumper, all right? So it's about eight feet tall, all right? So uh, it's, it's fantastic. Fantastic. I really think that it's great. And I think this is an amazing choice for people to have between these two top of the line golf simulator projectors. Okay, so let's talk a little more about the LU935ST and the specs before I move on to moving the camera up uh, very close so I can show you guys the image. Now, I don't want anybody to forget because I, I didn't dive into this a lot, but this is a laser projector, all right? They're blue core technology, all right? So I did verify it is 20,000 hours of expected life on this, which is a very big deal versus lamp. And like I mentioned, the DLP technology isn't going to get yellow over time, all right? Um, the, the easy installation, just like we talked about with the short throw lens, and everything, um, and obviously the lens shift, the digital uh, zoom that they have available. You can actually do digital shrinking, all right, which I think is really cool. You have the digital keystone and corner fit. Um, they have some very cool things that you can do with this projector that we're not even doing, but they have 360 uh, degree installation. They have uh, image blending, all kinds of different things that you can do. Um, obviously, uh, it's a sealed unit for dust proofing, which I think is really, really great. Um, it's operating nice and quiet. It does have a fan blowing a decent amount of air out of it because with 5,500 lumens, all right, you're projecting, you know, you're actually producing some heat. So just to understand, um, there's going to be a little bit of heat coming out of the thing, but I think it's relatively quiet. All right. I'm sure you guys can't hear it over the microphone. Just be quiet for a second there. And I mean, I don't think you can hear it. I mean, I can barely hear it while I'm talking. So, um, it has the HD base T capability. If that's something you're looking to use, it has the ability to do a wired remote control, Obviously has the uh, you know the wireless remote control. Um, it has RS-232 in and out if that's something that you're you're going to use. Um, here's something though that I have to point out, and we're going to show you this in a second when I bring the camera up closer. The response rate, okay, 16.67 milliseconds. You might wonder why that's so important. Well, when you're dealing with moving graphics at a high pace, it makes a really big difference. And I think you're gonna see that when I do like some flyovers here in a second, okay? The, re the refresh, and refresh rate and response rate is just unreal, all right? So understand that that's a, a big deal. Obviously, the format, the 16 by 10 format, giving you the ability to go taller, you know, without a wider room, I think is great. And, uh, you know, the dual color, wheels produce 92% REC.709 color coverage, which I had this in our golf simulator mode right now. So it's a preset. You just put it right to golf simulator um, picture mode. And I, I totally see what they're saying. The, the pureness of the colors without having to do any adjustment. I mean, I look, I'm looking at real greens I'm looking at real blues. And of course, there's going to be a little manipulation by the camera. But I think you're going to be able to see overall that uh, they've done a very, very good job with color. So now what I would like to do is I would like to bring the camera closer so you guys can get a very up close, all right, look at this. Now understand I'm doing a video in 16 by 9. That's a 16 by 10, uh, you know, image. So I'm going to have to kind of go back a little further than normal to fit that in there. It's not going to be able to fit perfect. Okay, so we're going to move the camera closer and take a closer look.
All right, guys, so here we are with the camera up close to our screen. And understand, this screen isn't perfect. You're gonna be able to see some ball marks. I'll actually, just so you believe me that this is an actual pic picture of the screen, I always like to stand in front. You'll actually see some ball marks on the screen. All right, it's not perfect. But if I step out of the, the uh, image there, I think you're gonna see that this is producing a very, very nice image. All right, so let's do some movement really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole flyover. We're here at Pebble Beach, number seven, using TGC 2019. Let's go ahead and give this some movement, and then we're gonna move into some different software. I always like to show different pieces of software because they have different types of graphics. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. You guys will get a really good idea of just kind of how that movement looks, how the colors look, all right? And then what I would like to do is just go ahead and exit out of here. You'll be able to see all of the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, all the menus and here are the homepage graphics. Let's go ahead and just exit. And what we'll do is, is we'll open up E6 Connect you'll be able to see the loading of E6 Connect. We'll go out to the same hole. I think that will be a really easy way of uh, kind of comparing things as far as what they look like. We'll let the camera focus in there. All right, perfect. And let's go to Play Golf. We'll just use my username really quick. We'll scroll down to Pebble Beach and we'll pick number seven. Let's go to selected holes, trash those really quick, go to seven, tee off. And here will be a whole nother example for you guys to look at. Wow, <laughs> it looks really, really good. Um, I'll be honest guys, with the correction that I was able to do on this screen to make it fit so perfectly, and I'll try to stand up here for a second just to kind of show you over here on the edge. I mean, look how I have this thing right up to the edge here. And then if I go to the other side, it's right up to this edge. It's right tucked along the bottom. And then you'll see I leave just a little bit of a buffer on the top because I actually have some camera components in the corner that just, just kind of, you know, uh, go over the edge of my screen. But I mean, I'm looking on the camera here myself and uh, man, the, the image is extremely sharp. Now you do have to understand, I mean, I listed this off before, this is over 2 million pixels. I mean, that is some very high resolution. This isn't normal 1080p because it's 1920 by 1200, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and do a flyover really quick. Really like what I'm seeing. I like how smooth everything looks, okay? Um, let's go ahead and exit out of here really quick. I'd like to show you guys one more piece of software. I don't wanna drag the video on too long. Let's go ahead and open up FSX because I'm showing the same holes that we showed with the BenQ LK953ST, the 4K model. And that's 5,000 lumens compared to this BenQ LU935ST, 5,500 lumen, and that's not 4K. That's 1920 by 1200. All right, so um, format difference is really what you guys have to understand here. Um, so let's go to play, and I think it was Abu Dhabi that I went out to show you guys. Let's go ahead and start that. I think this is gonna give you guys a really good comparison of you know just different graphic capabilities. And then what I would like to do is, is I would like to do a flyover. Perfect. I like how fast the flyovers are in FSX, so it's really kind of challenging your graphics card. All right, um, and let me see what else we want to do here. We could just go ahead and go, I think we can skip hole. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's skip hole and do another flyover. Perfect, showing some really fast movement. And I'll tell you what, that response rate of this is just, I mean, it's basically instantaneous. I'm seeing very, very, very smooth images. Um, the colors, I'll have to say that I'm very impressed with the colors. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Give me one second here. 
All right, guys, that wraps up our review of the BenQ LU935 ST. So let's just talk about a couple things really quick. If you guys are looking to purchase, whether it be the BenQ953 ST, the 4K 16x9 model, or you're looking to purchase this new LU935 ST 16x10 model, I wanna make sure you reach out. All right, I'd love to answer any questions you have, but also wanna get you the best price. My partners, we're trying to stock these things and be able to get you the best price on these. Um, you know, let me know what I can do. Shoot me an email, it's pinned to the top of the comments and it's in uh, the description as well. I want you guys to comment below anything else you'd like to see, all right? I tried to show off some of the best software out there that really, you know, a lot of users are using, they're comfortable with, they've seen before so they can do a comparison of, you know, what they may have. I mean, a lot of things that I wanna note here have to do with brightness. Um, I mean, the, the brightness of this unit is, is noticeable. I know 10% might not seem like a lot, but it's noticeable. I mean, it really is. But also, the colors. The colors are very, very true. I have this in that golf mode, and I just feel like they're just immersive and right on. I'm not getting any wonky colors at all. Um, I think that's important. But really, the setup and the options are things that you want to pay attention to. The fact that I was able just to throw this up there, and it probably took me maybe 10 minutes total just to swap my mounts, plug it in, and then go in there and just hit a couple settings and have everything fit perfectly to my 16 by 10 screen, I find that very impressive, you know? So it's something you need to understand um, when you're looking for a golf simulator projector that it has to do with format, it has to do with brightness, and it has to do with a lot of options and install capabilities that those golf simulator projectors would have, okay? So short throw lens, like I said, I have this mounted 10 feet right above, so I don't have anything to worry about as far as swinging or clearing. So um, a lot of different things that just kind of stick out to me, all right? So once again, this has been the BenQ LU935 ST golf simulator projector. All right. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, lay your comments down below and let me know and stay tuned for a lot more. We'll talk to you soon.